Hi everybody and welcome to the video where I'm going to be showing you how to build the log store that you can see on screen right now. This is a relatively simple project. It's much more affordable than buying one from a shop and it's going to hold about one and a half tons of cut timber. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get into how you can actually build this yourself. Okay, so to get started, on the screen right now you can see a drawing of uh, the log store upright frames, I've called them. We're going to need three of these. It's quite a simple uh, frame to build. It is essentially four pieces of wood. One is 1200 millimeters. This is going to uh, form the back uh, edge of the log store. What we're actually looking at in this drawing is a kind of a side profile of the log store. So the 1200 millimeters will be the back. The 1100 millimeters will be the front uh, and the 510 there at the top is obviously the top and 500 at the bottom. Now we are going to have to cut some angles uh, to make the top of the log store sloped here. So this is quite simple. Don't be worried that this is uh, complicated. It's really not. The angle for all the cuts in this section are going to be uh, 10 degrees. So the 1200 millimeter length there on the right hand side is going to be 1200 millimeters to the longest point with a 10 degree angled cut and the 1100 millimeter piece at the front that is going to be again just a 10 degree angled cut from 1100 and down to the front so very simple and then the 510 millimeter piece for the top is just going to be a 10 degree angled cut at either end and that's just going to make it all fit together nicely and then at the bottom, we just have a 500 millimeter piece of timber, which is just straight cut. And that's gonna provide exactly the same space between those uprights as the 510 millimeter angled cut at the top. The timber that we're using is 75 by 47 millimeter sawn pressure treated timber. And the fixings are five by 100 millimeter multi-purpose screws. Okay, so we're just gonna watch me just build one of these frames now, and you can see really how easy this is. I'm just using an, an angled cut there on the saw, uh, just to make this a little bit simpler. If you don't have a saw, then you can use a mitre block or a mitre saw. But basically, we're just gonna fix it together. Very simple. So two screws in either section, and there we go, we're done. So the next bit is this uh, la uh, the log store bottom frame which is essentially just a very simple ladder frame. We've got two pieces of timber cut at 1800 millimeters, which is the overall width of our log store. And then we have four pieces cut at 404, and that's just gonna create the, the, the ladder frame here. And it's gonna give us the overall width of this, this particular frame of 498, which is two millimeters narrower than the inside of the previous three frames that we just made. Basically, this is just gonna lie down in the middle of those three frames to form the bottom of the log store. Uh, so this is, is, is very simple. There's nothing complicated here. The only thing that I will say is double check the measurements because the timber that you're using might just be slightly different in dimensions to the timber I'm using. And that could you know cause it to either be a little bit too small or a little bit too big. So that four or four millimeters could change slightly, but essentially it's gonna be exactly the same uh, as the drawing here. Okay, so you're just gonna see me building this again. Um, essentially, we've cut the two 1800s. I'm cutting my four 404s here, and then we're gonna have one at either end. We're gonna have another at 600, and another at 1200. And then again, it's just two fixings in the end of each timber, uh, just like the frames before. Okay, so once we've done that, we can uh, lay our three upright frames out here. We can just stand them apart from each other. I'm just double checking there that it's around 1800. And I'm simply just gonna slide this through the free frames and just lie it down in the middle. And you can see here this two millimeter uh, plate it just makes it nice and tight so you can just knock it down. And there you go, you get a bit of an idea now. You can start seeing the frame coming together, okay? So the next job is just to fix it all together. And that's basically just gonna be done through the upright frames three fixings in each one going into that bottom frame uh, just to tie it all together. So that's nice and solid now. And then we're gonna get two pieces of two by one. So this was essentially one length 
uh, 3.6 meters that I cut in half. We're going to put one at the front, one at the back, and that's just going to tie everything together, make sure that the top is the exact same width as the bottom. Um, yeah, and that's it. It's pretty simple. I mean, as of now, that is a pretty solid frame that we've got there. So we're going to start actually adding the boards on now. And again, this is 3.6 meter length timber. And because the whole log store is uh, 1800, that means we get two pieces of timber basically out of each timber. So there's basically no waste from this. In fact, if you just look down at the bottom left of the screen now by my square, you can actually see the waste from one piece of timber. Okay, so we're going to put these on the back. Very simple. Two screws in each of the upright frames to hold it on. And we're just going to use another board as the spacer. Now the boards are 20 mil thick. Uh, the back is 1200 millimeters. That means with, this, with those 20 millimeter gaps, we have exactly 10 boards on here. There's no cuts, there's nothing to worry about here. It's going to fit 10 boards absolutely perfectly. And then for the sides, we're going to cut the side pieces. Again, these are all the same length because the frame is square and you know exactly the same width at the top and bottom. We're only going to do nine here though because the very top one is obviously going to be going from 1200 to 1100 so we actually need to do like an angled cut there but again that is extremely simple so if you look how we're fixing now to do the top angled cut there we're just going to take one of these boards that i'm fitting now draw a line from the top left corner down to the bottom right corner just a straight line and basically just chop it diagonally in half and that is going to give us those two pieces Unfortunately, I didn't record myself doing that, but it's extremely simple. And then we did the uh, boards for the bottom there. I didn't bother showing you that because exactly the same process. Uh, and that's it. You know, the frame's looking, I'm sure you'll agree, really good right now. So we just need to put a top on it. For this, I used an 18 millimeters uh, hardwood faced ply. So this is a, like an exterior ply. It's a little bit higher quality. It's 18 mil, so it's thicker. I just wanted something that was strong and durable that was going to last. Uh, so I did end up paying a little bit more for this. However, I was able to get the uh, timber yard to cut this down to size for me. So they only charged me for half a board. I think half a board here was around £26. So it, it wasn't cheap. But again, you know, I'm more concerned with, you know, it standing the test of time rather than, um, you, you know, paying an extra five pound that really doesn't bother me uh, so he has a little bit of an overhang here and uh, i'm just going to put three screws into each of these upright frames now i will say i'm going to cut from the video shortly because that bright sun that's glaring in that window just gets worse and worse during this bit but i think it's self-explanatory we're just fixing it to the frames below okay so there you go the the, the roof is on now I'm just going to add a couple more pieces of timber here to the front. These are just basically kind of guardrails, I guess, just to stop any of the wood falling out of the log store. Uh, there's no real set measurements here. I just kind of, I think, if I remember correctly, it was 700 and 400. Uh, and I think I adjusted the bottom one because I didn't like where it was. Just put these roughly where you want them to be. 700 for the top one, I think, is you know perfectly fine that that gives you plenty of room to get in and grab timber and put timber in it i didn't find it obstructed me adding you know the logs into the store and it's just going to stop them all pouring out of the front so this is pretty simple again just two screws and then we're just going to fix it into the upright uh frames there so very very simple very simple okay once that's done we can add the felt to the roof now this is something that i've never done before and i'm just going to tell you now the memory on the camera unfortunately runs out shortly so we'll we will just be finishing this off with a few pictures after you've seen me rolling this out but essentially what i did was i just rolled it out to the desired amount i give it around 100 mil overhang either side which is kind of what i'm doing now i just rolled it across and then uh, rolled it over the edge a little bit. I've got my Stanley knife and just cut along. Uh, you know, nothing very technical there, just kind of cutting it to length and then just sort of adjusting it to roughly where I wanted it uh, just to make sure that I was happy with it. 
and then we're just going to stick it down with some adhesive so we've got some blackjack here some uh, uh, bitumen felt adhesive as you can see here so we have moved to pictures now unfortunately but i just covered the top with it and you can see here i just used a staple gun i used some heavy duty 10 mil staples and you can see where i've just cut it around the upright timbers and folded it under and stapled it in place uh, but yeah it's very simple i mean i, I I've, I've never personally done this before and i didn't find it difficult to be honest so i don't think that you should struggle with this but there you go that's the uh the finished result the finished log store and i'm sure you agree it looks pretty nice you know full of wood there prop there's just under uh, a ton of wood in there probably about three quarters of a ton uh, so it'll take a good bit more and uh yeah i mean it took me about five hours to build much cheaper than buying one i hope you enjoyed it and i hope yours comes out looking just as good